This tree is a prime example of what's happening here today. Every single branch completely coated on all sides with ice. All that heavy ice weighing it down, breaking off some branches and that same ice coating power lines. It started with a thump, a crackle. And then I was just laying in bed actually with my son just watching TV that went out. This is what Anne Marie Spencer saw looking out her bedroom window. And there's just spurts of flames everywhere, like right on the corner behind my garage and on the fence. The power lines down because of the backyard all um, on fire, the grass and everything. Similar scenes throughout southeast Michigan as ice rain fell, power lines did too. In Warren, police officers helped fire crews handle the volume of calls. We just secure the area until the DTE gets here and uh, makes everything safe. In Monroe, viewer Hannah captured waves crashing over the Bulls Harbor break wall. While many others in the city sent photos of flooded streets where boats rescued those stranded in their homes as the water rose. And if you weren't dealing with power outages or rising water, you may have hit slick spots on the road. Ice rain sent many drivers spinning out of control. Perhaps that's why several churches opted to stay home, canceling Sunday morning services. This tree actually did have a couple branches that broke, and you don't want to be near it when something like that happens. And once all this ice melts, you could see some more flooding and more slick spots on the road. Jennifer Ann Wilson, 7 Action News.